Courtney, you know, it's hard to imagine President like Biden just not throwing in everything. When I say everything, I mean even the kitchen sink. Uh, thinking about this today, this morning, those initial jobless claims back almost up to a million. Uh, I, I just can't believe between that and what's happening down in Congress that he would get a lot of pushback right now. Yeah, and the thing is, we're already seeing that get priced into the bond markets, right? So if you look at the 10-year Treasury, it's already above 1%, which, Charles, I actually have to give you some credit there for, because back in the fall, you and I were actually talking about this on your show, and you called Treasuries going up to 1%. So you were exactly right there. Uh, but that's exactly what we're remember. seeing, which... <laughs> <laughs> to put that in perspective, um, Treasury is just about doubled since yeah. early October. So that's quite a move, even though 1% doesn't seem that high. But essentially what that's pricing in is that we are going to see an inflationary period here because of extra spending by the government, stimulus being a big par- portion of that. In, in the meantime, Courtney, we're going to get earnings. Uh, earnings season starts tomorrow. Big four uh, banks are reporting. Uh, thoughts on those banks, and more specifically, uh, as Wall Street braces for uh, you know uh, year-over-year big declines. I would suspect, though, this is an opportunity for corporate America to give us some better guidance as well. Oh, very much so. Yeah, the guidance is really, I think, always the most important when it comes to earnings season. Um, But I'm very optimistic, especially with the banks, which are leading off earnings. And this is something we've been talking about because they actually have been outperforming. You're going to look at your values and your cyclicals have been outperforming over the last quarter. And I would actually argue that's just beginning. I think we're going to continue to see this rotation happening. And if interest rates rise, which we've been talking about, that can actually be a really good thing for your banks because it's going to help their margins at the end of the day. So I do think as an investor, you maybe want to look and see if interest rates are going up. It's kind of the anti-growth trade. So look at some of those things like banks here for opportunities.